Hey Daniel, you look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. You're not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? Oh, I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. Yeah, but he's still gotta be on campus. That explains why he looked so pissed off when I saw him leaving campus a few moments ago. Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anybody, Max. <laughs> but, oh. I did actually have a conversation with Brooke. She was very sad about Kate. So am I. And angry. We should stop going to class and stage a protest. Uh, but that's not going to happen at Blackwell. Yet. I like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here... Push me into lockers, not dance floors. That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but... I'll go. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Whew. Good thing I didn't let Chloe take that money from Principal Wells. Oh, my sweet Kate. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Did you think you could hide from Max Caulfield, Squirrel Paparazzi? I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia, baby. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Blackwell is so sad and quiet since Kate... ...isn't here anymore. Yes. You can tell that the campus is different now. And you reached out to her when everybody turned away. Samuel, you're the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being bullied? Most everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. I hate bullies, Max. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I, I hope she finds them now. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. He deserved it. And more. Samuel tries not to judge people. But Nathan shouldn't be here. Maybe he's supposed to be here, though. What do you really know about him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I... I think he sees you, Max. Why do you say that? Because... you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. 
No, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. Th that must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. Well, no offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends. Especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And Max, I don't like it at all. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max, while time is on your side. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers, if we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Do you think she's alive? She'll always be alive in our hearts. Sometimes that's all we have left. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Amber is waiting too. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not that we can prove it. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. They're not alone these days. I feel so powerless. Oh no. You're the opposite of powerless, Max. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them, oh... Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. You're scared too? Look at the weather. And the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other these days. Get that food in your belly. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in Science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow and whales. There must be a scientific explanation, right? 
When my friends at NASA tell me they can't explain a solar eclipse without a single theory as to how or why, maybe it's time to get worried. Like they are. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. So, you don't think this could be some kind of prophecy or something? Max, you know how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. But I haven't found any apocalyptic signs yet. Unless you count those end-of-the-world posters. Unless you know something I don't. What about wormholes and chaos theory? Like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story. A sound of thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. Hell no. Sorry, Miss Grant. You're an adult. You can swear, damn it. And I'm glad you did. So you haven't seen Nathan at all? Let's just say I try not to, Max. But I did catch him storming off campus. After what happened this week, I hope you don't see him either. You're not the best student here, but you... you might be the wisest. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Oh, Max. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Kate was the sweetest student I've ever met at Blackwell. And they can be so cruel to each other. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Feel like the sky wants to us. That's so ironic that Warren after- Hey, Brooke. How are you? Considering what happened to Kate, I could be better. Are you okay? I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Come on, Brooke. Don't be that way. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. <laughs> that makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. 
I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. One photo. For posterity. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. It's so lame they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. <laughs> 